5th of April 2018. Today is Thursday, 5.42 p.m. Okay, this case is a very interesting case in the sense that uh, this Syrian hamster came in with a big swelling below the right eye, as you can see there, he's picking up from his uh, then Now, this hamster, the interesting thing about this hamster is that he is called a crazy hamster because he really squeals and, and we touch him and you can see the swelling on the right side, uh, on the left side left side there is a cheek pouch swelling but it's not so obvious now now the best way to video is not to touch them yet. But you can see below the eyes, the swelling is really very bad. The, the right eye is almost closed. See if you can zoom in. Eh? Don't, don't go through the... Uh, go direct. You can see it's almost closed. Now, what is the cause of it? Now the, the one, one differential diagnosis would be, of course it's either infection or tumor or impaction of the cheek pouch. So I will put these three as differential diagnosis. The age of the hamster is not known. Whether male or female, the, the, the owner does not know. So after that, my, my, my uh, assistant will, will copy it up and then we'll check whether male or female first. Now, now okay, so we, we see the, the way the hamster is. Take away the camera. Now this hamster, according to the owner, when I told her that uh, this is the whether the hamster can escape or not. She says yes. It tries to bite off, uh, shake off this uh, bar. This uh, wire, you can, you can see, he can stand up very high. So this you know, hamster can stand up and every night he tries to escape. Hamsters like to escape and tries to escape by push, pushing up. Now, I, 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 this is my diagnosis that he could have injured himself, the cheek, huh? something put into it. Of course, it's quite possible. And uh, what the owner does is put a heavy thing on top so that the hamster wouldn't escape. But uh, the best is not to have what these uh, sharp, sharp uh, wires in the hamster housing because you never know it, it may injure them. So these are the ones. And uh, you think that the hamster cannot climb up, but apparently, according to the owner, this crazy hamster can stand up on two legs. And then he goes under the wires and like, like the Spider-Man goes under and goes around here and here, which I can't believe but it is true. Then goes round and round and then goes back. Every night. I mean the hamster is quite free, so there's a lot of time. Huh? Now so I'm gonna ask my assistant to take it out, take out the hamster for me to check the cheek pouch by giving gas. Now the best way to to catch the hamster is not to use your hands, uh, but use a cup. This cup will just just cut the hamster, and and uh, that is the best way. Because otherwise they will squeal, they will scream sometimes. Uh. They are still. I see. This is how she does it. See first. This is how she does it. This way, and then we put over this side first. Because uh, this is the area where I can see clearly. Now, so, so we will put here, and uh, I, I will have a quick video of the swelling. You see, look at stand up. You see the swelling. Okay, now, that might I just show you here. Okay, now, uh, now I'm going to put under anesthetic already. Now, you see clearer. So to put under anesthetic, we just cut it again. Now, I hope this one is big enough because. We don't need to be too loose and not to too tight. So I put under gas, I put under 5 percent isofluorine gas mm -hmm. at a flow rate of 4, oxygen flow rate 4 liters per minute. 4 liters per minute. And uh, I'm, I'm going to check whether there is a tumor or infection. Now try and lock the table, whether the table is loose. Of the table so the best is as small space as possible and as close as possible now what this thing takes very fast it shouldn't take a long time the hamsters what's the time we record the time 554 uh, 547 I just use one 
one will do. I think we don't confuse everybody with two clocks. Sir. So I just put here, here. And 547, no, normally about two minutes or less, depends on how how close you can get close to the nose. Now this isoflurane 5% is very uh, strong, very strong actually. And uh, I think my videographer has to come this side up there. Anyway, she must go that side. That's the side. She goes that side and I will show whether there's any cheek pouch infection. Now there is the oxygen generator. So we use oxygen generator to generate oxygen. Now is it down? Okay, I pass over to her and uh, she has to go this side. Okay, let's put down here first. Now, you see the answer is down. You can see the swelling is bad now. Open up, open up, open up, use the faucet. Have a quick check whether there's any seat or not. Teeth was so over overgrown, no? Okay. I will just open up the mouth first. Now don't don't give anything until until you're about to wake up. Uh, I'm trying to see what's inside the cheek pouch. Whether there's anything inside. Now you can see you can take out the cheek pouch. The cheek pouch is okay. This is the cheek pouch. There's nothing wrong with it. Ho ho ho. So there's a cheek pouch. Diverted, huh? and uh, it's clean. There's nothing wrong. Okay, some gas now, and uh, at least confirm that there's nothing there. Well, let it go back in. But we're not complaining that it doesn't put seat inside the cheek pouch. That's because of the of the pain. Now, so it's, so so there's nothing there. So. Most likely it's an abscess below here, which I can't see. And uh, I'll put some gas first. The second part of the examination will be, I will use the leader to check whether it's passed or not. That's correct. Continue the video, don't stop. And uh, as the hamster is down, quickly take it out again. Don't. Uh, Give too long gas, otherwise you'll just die. Okay, ready down. Okay, let me aspirate now. Now actually you can actually take a photo now. Just like you're pressing the get up again, down again, down, 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 down. The best is put in here rather than straight gas. Okay. So we confirm that there's no cheek pouch infection and inflammation. And there is a big swelling on the below the eye. So most likely it's either a tumor or an abscess. So we we'll use the the you can video here, no need to stand up there. It actually this, this one uh, this is, you can see this quite inflamed. So I need the cutter to cut the the long overgrown teeth. That's all this thing must be prepared. We didn't prepare the, the cutter. Where is it? Where is the cutter? Below, middle. Da. The rabbit one, rabbit one. Below, middle. Da. Ah, below. The lower one, da. Okay. So we ready, got the good ready. And is it down ready? Take it out ready. Take it out. Now open for me, come. Open for me, da. The cutter. Now this side is okay, you see, below the eye is okay, there's no swelling. So, pull the tongue up first to one side, eh? so that I don't cut the tongue, put to one side first. So it's been quite long already, so the teeth is overgrown. Eh? Okay, we, 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 we put some gas again. Now the reason I, I don't just go direct is because it's dangerous. You never know. The hamster might just die of heart. Heart uh, attack due to the direct gas. Now, this one is a bit slow. You know. The best is to face the. 
do this with no sign, this side now. This side, okay, so, so once it comes out, I will cut the teeth. This side, the assistant must be very fast. The assistant just put the tongue to one side, slightly, and cut the teeth. Okay, ready, that's it. We don't need to wait until it's 100% down. Okay, then, uh, oh, never mind, this one is okay now. Yeah, just to prevent, no, no need, no need to take out the tongue. In fact, the tongue don't come out better still. Eh? Don't come out better. This overgrown teeth, just pull the cheek down. Eh? Assistant must know what to do. Eh? Know what to do. So this is in out in out is the safest way because uh, obviously if you take a longer time now. but uh, I never had a hamster dying from anesthetic. So the only thing is that you got to observe yeah, okay enough of it. That's it, let me just check whether the hole whether there is a subcutaneous abscess or not. Or hematoma. You can see there's some fluid. So it's a hematoma. Because he's been, because he's been jumping up and down like Spider Man. So actually, I spread it without even to cut it. Now I need to press it down. Press it down. Now I can press it out. You can press, press. You forgot your swap. The audience must be prepared. There might be some parts inside as well. Okay. Can get gas again. So next time we have to prepare all this one, one swap. But uh, definitely this control is hematoma. So uh, so once you relieve the hematoma, then uh, then it'll be much uh, better. I will just get a bigger bigger needle and uh, if possible, don't don't cut, don't don't incise. I take some in like 10 and then just uh, just the finishing. Okay, you got it. Quickly position for me to cut. Uh. Position it. Uh. Now the best is to eventually. Uh, Cases we might need the scalpel blade to to uh, incise a hole, yeah. but uh, if aspiration is, is, is done, the hole is smaller. The needle aspiration is a smaller hole, but uh, definitely there is hematoma. You can see here, and uh, sometimes we just remove 0.1 mL, and that should be okay already. That should be. Okay, come up to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. 
let me see whether I express the path or it's probably a subconjunctiva, yeah. Subconjunctiva, that's why both sides you can see. That's between the path that's passed actually, yeah. It's probably due to the injury from the from those wire cage. Come, just clean up. Yeah. So the swelling is gone down a lot now. So you see you need anesthetic, it's very difficult to to do the anesthetic. You clean the eyes eye drops. That's how you must get rid of the eye drops as well, yeah. Almost all come out already yeah, through that needle. So you clean up, clean up. Do we have eye drops here? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Eye drops here, yeah. Water, use water. Put, put back some gas first, some gas. Gas first, yeah. So we almost finished. So we just get a clean uh, water so and clean up very well the blood. There will be some bleeding but uh, overall she will be okay already tomorrow. And it's lucky there's no tumor. So from from what we can see is uh, from what you can see is uh, being a spider man, a crazy spider man, which has injured his uh, he spoke his cheek. No more. Okay, mm. Toro. Okay, quickly, quickly. Faster than that. About four times to do, you know how to do it. Not so many times. Four times to do, very wet. And very wet, and you just. One time, two time, three time, four time about that yeah. okay get ready his sketch then he just put eye drops eye drops then the eye drops are here yeah. so the bread so the bread takes away just put the eye drops yeah, we'll do, yeah. now sometimes they die so it's not as if you you you, you have to be careful okay it's not wet it's not wet very wet now come give me this one very wet one very wet very wet Because you have to clean up the blood now. Yeah. Uh, this is a wait. Now ready the cage. We cannot clean 100%. Doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. Just now he's surviving. Yeah. Okay. So just, okay. So in conclusion, the evidence is here. Then yeah. okay, evidence is here. It's a hematoma with some some parts at the end. The owner detected it early. Actually, it's more than that. Yeah. This is 0. Uh, 0.1. Most likely it's 0.2, that's why there's a swelling, okay, oxygen off the building.